Hey everybody, Quad Nines here with an update to my cube. I've been promising this video video series for a while. And when I say a while, I mean a long time. So yeah, my last uh, cube video on my white section is uh, almost exactly six years ago. So, so yeah, six years. And my cube has changed a lot. Cards have come in and out. Uh, most of them have been fold out. Uh, and we're going to go over all of them now. So, um, hope you like it. We're going to start off with the most important thing to white, and that's one-drop creatures. Uh, you need to support aggro in white, and it all starts with the one-drops. Dauntless Bodyguard, Giver of Ruins are two of the newer additions to my cube. Isamaru is the classic one drop. Uh, Kithion here of Akros flips into a pretty strong planeswalker, whereas Mother of Ruins just protects her family. Sky Marcher Aspirant, Soldier of the Pantheon, and Student of Warfare all do different but still aggressive things. Giver of Runes is the new modern friendly take on Mother of Runes. Uh, both are very strong and you probably should be running them in your cube. Okay, let's get on with the two drops. Now two drop white creatures are usually about aggression, but sometimes they're about value. A quarter paladin, a Danto Vanguard, and Porcelain Legionnaire are some of the more aggressive ones, as they're always attacking for three. Hold up. Yeah, that looks like it says three mana, but it's really two. Let's not pretend otherwise. Uh, let's go on. Selfless Spirit protects your board from Wraths. Soulfire Grandmaster loves the Time Walk. And then there's Stoneforge Mystic, which is Equipment's best friend. Then we've got Thalia, the best looking hate bear ever printed. And we're rounding out with Wall of Omens with some good old card advantage. Hey, how you doing? You guessed it, owned the three drop white creatures. Now three drops can be about tokens, be about value, or sometimes both. Start off with Blade Splicer and Bramaz, who are about tokens and aggressive. Then you got Flicker Wisp, which sometimes just gives you a blink effect and sometimes removes their blocker. Mirror Crusader has been cut from some cubes, but I'm guessing they've never equipped it with the Jitte before. Monastery Mentor, more tokens, more value. Recruit the Guard is all about combo. And then there's three Manathalia, which sometimes gets you free wins. Uh, rounding it out is Vesper Lark, which is the newest edition, and it's got a lot more hits than you think. You might want to try it out. Let's get on to the big white creatures. Starting off with some pretty good four drops with Hero of Bladehold and Leonin War Leader. Both are army in the can type finishers that pump out extra attackers and just get your opponent dead. They're must answer threats. Then there's Palace Jailer, which is a 2 2 for four. Uh, which doesn't seem good until you realize it exiles a creature and makes you the Monarch. It's such a strong card it sees play in Legacy, Death, and Taxes. Rounding out the four drops is Restoration Angel. It's been a good value since it's printed. Sometimes it blinks your thing, sometimes it just kills your opponent. Flash Flying is good, this just in. Then on to the five drops where we have a trio of angels that all do different things but are very good at what they do. Now you may ask yourself, why do you play all three? Well, which one would you cut? They're big five mana flyers that uh, do what you want. So I play all of them. The lone six drop in the cube is, well, the best white six drop, Sun Titan. It brings back your early to bid game play, sometimes over and over again, and guess what? A 6 6 Vigilance is a good attacker and a good blocker. The only 7 drop and the highest of high end in white is Elishnor. She uh, just kills every elf ever, and sometimes she's a surprise win. Now on to the white planeswalkers. I don't have to tell you why these cards are good, it's pretty obvious. They do white color pie things from making tokens to destroying enemy creatures. Gideon and Elspeth are a pretty good team here. That being said, if I ever pick up a Sarah the Benevolent, Gideon Ally of Zenikar may be done for. Uh, just like his San Diego Comic-Con zombie promo, uh, he may have seen better days. 
Moving on to incense and sorceries, we'll start off with Enlightened Tutor. Sometimes it gets you an equipment, sometimes it gets you removal in the form of an enchantment. Speaking of removal, we've got Path and Swords, two of the best ever. Speaking of best ever, has there ever been a better gotem than mana tithing somebody's game winning play? Down to the sorceries now, let's start off with Balance, one of the most busted white cards ever printed, my favorite white card in the cube and possibly the best. Uh, then on to the twin land destruction spells of Armageddon and Ravages of War. Uh, then some not so targeted removal of Winds of Abandoned, Council of Judgment, and finally the original Wrath, Wrath of God. That leaves enchantments, and this cube's got six of them. We've got land tax for the Dirtle Control, Banishing Light, Conclave Tribunal, and Oblivion Ring for, well, Oblivion Ring effects. History of Benalia is the new edition, and uh, Sagas are pretty cool. I definitely like that card. Last is Parallax Wave, which you usually don't see outside of a commander pod, but it's pretty sweet. Well, that's it. That's the white section of my cube as of August 2019. It's come a long way in the past six years, and it's still changing. Uh, I'm sure I've left some cards out that you really like, but uh, I did promise you a best cards of my cube. And for white, I'd have to say it goes Armageddon slash Ravages of War, Balance, then on to Swords to Plowshares and Elish Norn, and finally Thalia, Guardian of Thraven. Uh, now these five are no particular order. They're all very strong in their own right, and I think you'd do good to pick any of them in your deck. If you've made it this far in the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please click subscribe and like the video and comment down below on what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching.